Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. During Invictus, we have access to several new commodities to trade. Fireworks, party favors, construction materials, souvenirs, helium, and AV equipment. During last year's Invictus, I was running fireworks from the admin on Norville uh, to Everest Harbor literally all day, every day of Invictus. This year, with the change to commodity prices and stocking, I've only found one really good commodity run. Not only is it really good, but it meets all of my requirements for trade, and in some cases beats them. This is a very short route we'll be running between the primary planet and one of its moons. On average, you can make between 300,000 and 450,000 credits an hour for a crazy low investment of only 125,000 credits if you're running a, a Hercules C2. Over the course of Invictus, this route should translate into several million credits. And if you don't currently own a Hercules C2 uh, to run this cargo, don't worry, I have a solution for that too. If you're interested in playing Star Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn an additional 5,000 credits of in-game money when you do. And if you're a subscriber, leave a comment with your referral code. I'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in my next video. Alright, let's get started. Step 1 for running this route is to uh, make sure you have a ship that can run a lot of cargo. If you own a Hercules of any stripe, then, then uh, you're already good to go. Uh, if not, then head on over to the Invictus Hall and rent either an Anvil Carrick RSI Connie Taurus, or a Drake Caterpillar. Admittedly, the Connie is the worst with only 174 SEU, but hey, if you don't own something larger, it is free to rent. Once you have your ride squared away, we head on over to Lyria of all places. We're going to be trading in Helium during Invictus. The cost of purchase is the same no matter where you buy it at 180 credits per SEU. The downside uh, to where we'll be uh, going on Lyria <laughs> is that there's no armistice zone, so watch your back as we pay Loveridge a visit. And as you can see, it's a little uh, popular right now. Uh, while it looks a little intimidating to land in, I easily fit my C2. Also be careful while walking around Lyria. Uh, it's super slippery and the last thing you want uh, is to have a fall and be incapacitated, which has happened to me. So watch your step. Once inside, we run over to the trading terminal. For some reason, helium is a little bugged and doesn't show up on the tab uh, you select to purchase it from. That's okay, it's the last one priced at 180 credits per unit. Um, and to fill my C2, that's only 125,000 credits, which is a crazy low investment. Now, there are several admins where you can sell your helium, but as luck would have it, the best place to sell is Area 18 on Orcorp at 400 credits per unit. So of course that's where we'll go. The only downside is the amount of time it takes to get to the admin, which is located in the IO North Tower in Orcorp Plaza. You'll spend more than half your time just getting in and out of Area 18. The admin is at the top of the stairs here.
After I complete the sale, I am now 150,000 credits richer. That's an 82% profit, which is insane. My usual also safe run of titanium and, and laronite is only 45%. So yeah, I'll, I'll run this all day every day until the end of Invictus, easily making at least a million credits a day. That is the best route for Invictus that I've been able to find. Uh, if, if you have one you like, make sure to share it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Scrap Jet out.